All right, what is going on, lovely ladies and gentlemen? Now, let me forewarn you, this part right here is not going to be repetitive. You may, however, get some repetition on the things I'm going to say later on down the line. I need to go through, I recorded a bunch of stuff. Sometimes it crashed, and so I need to, I basically I need to go through the videos and see, like, which of them are actually worth posting, which of them are like, ah, you know what, it's not enough trouble to go through to fix all this shit, blah, blah, blah. Point being... I wanted to uh, comment on God damn, you know what? Fuck it, fuck it. I'm gonna come in here. Hope it did. Like, if it just crashes while I am in the middle of this shit, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm opening up Firefox because I need to. One of you guys left me a comment, and uh, I know it started with an R. I think the numbers were 2352, but I want to get it right. Not 2352, just 523. It did not start with an R either. I got the mid. I was. I wanted to say that the person was Ramon. It's Jamon or Jamon or something like that. Anyway, Jamon 523. Thank you for your comment, and I wanted to discuss it because you left me a bunch of shit uh, that I probably shouldn't. When somebody's trying to leave me tips, even though that's just kind of the way I am. Like I'm not trying to say it's shit, but I should probably lean away from being like, "Oh yeah, you left me this shit." Like I'm not trying to be derogatory toward it. That's just the way I talk. Um. But you left me a bunch of tips of stuff, and it's kind of stuff that I don't want to, you know, say like, ah, I was useless, but it was kind of stuff that I was aware of, but wasn't really able to do effectively. Like, for instance, the very first deck, or the very first tip that he said was, you know, if you customize your deck, like, screw the story decks, get rid of them, stop doing it, it's not going to help you in the long run. Make your own deck, start using it, fine tune it through experience, blah, blah, blah. And that's definitely something that I'm actually doing that right now, and that's why I'm recording this video. Um,. But that's definitely something that I was very aware of and was very uh, excited to be able to do. However, this game doesn't actually make it easy. I shouldn't be here. Damn. I shouldn't be here so I could show you off shit, but this is such an amazing first hand. I'm going to leave it anyway. Uh, I made a zombie, not a zombie deck, but I made a, a vampire-based deck, which obviously utilizes zombies. But anyway, so, you know, we're here. We have all the options and stuff. So, obviously, the first place you would think, oh, I should go here to get my cards this is actually like the worst place for you to get cards no joke like this is just like i got plenty of points i got nothing else to do with them let me buy some booster packs this is not an effective place whatsoever to get cards so like for instance the ones that i have bought the most from are bakura and bastion and this guy so the reason why i was buying from this guy is because he had you actually saw both of the cards that i was getting from him pyramid turtles and unizombies and those were two cards that, you know, every, pretty much everybody says, like, if you want to make a solid deck based off of vampires, you need these two cards. So I looked them up, looked out where to find them, and his decks were where you got them. I spent a good 45, 50 minutes just sitting here. Now, watch how slow this is. I'm actually not going to buy from him because I don't think I, he really has any cards left. I'm going to buy from my lovely lady, my Valentine. Now, just watch. So, obviously, that part really fast. You can just hit the X button three times in a row, and it gets here really fast. Watch how slow this shit is. There's no way to skip it. You cannot speed this up. You are stuck here until right now. And now you can finally move forward and actually do something. So it takes forever to actually buy these card packs in the first place because you have to wait for that entire animation to fill out. Uh, I have found it is actually... Fo Ooh, no, not here, not here, not here. Uh, go to single player. Duelist... Now, this is, again, another problem with it is that you have to unlock all of... To be able to do all of this stuff... You have to go through campaign mode first and, you know, to get all the points to be able to do this shit and to unlock all the stuff. So, like, for instance, you see me right here, all of the exclamation points means I have not done those yet. It's the same thing up here. I have not done any of these yet. But I would have had to get to at least the point where I unlock this fight in order to get the deck that I wanted. But the reason why it is so effective to do this is that you unlock all of their challenge decks. So, again, let me go right over here, deck edit. So, you can just come over here, check this out. And these are all the decks that I've unlocked, and you can see all the cards that are included in them and whatnot. And so the most effective way to actually find cards is if you're looking for something specific, to come here, figure out which deck... Well, these are all story-based decks, and those are a bit harder to work with. But once you unlock the challenge decks, uh, you come here, you look at this list, and you're like, oh, okay, here's a card that I want. Let me go oh, Let me go back over to the Duelist Challenge, and I'll just go into Kamula, because why the hell not? Uh, we're not actually going to use this. But you come over here, now you have two options at this point in time. You can win, and I think that gets you 
five cards, maybe only three, I can't really remember specifically how many cards it gets you, but you get a decent amount of cards. However, due to how long it actually te can take some fights, uh, you know, obviously depending on the deck you're fighting and whatnot, um, the most effective way to do it is actually to try to get the first turn so you don't have to deal with all this shit. Thankfully, she's not doing a ton of stuff. But you get to the first turn, and then you just surrender. So you don't actually play, you don't do anything, but you get one card. And it's that card will always be from that person's challenge deck. So once you know like what cards you're looking for, it's easier to just come here and do this than to actually buy the booster packs, which is a wonderful system. Uh, and it's definitely the fault of a couple things. The first being that there's no information inside the game itself to know what cards are in the booster packs to begin with, nor do you know like how much of the packs you've unlocked. There's no way to tell, like, um, there's no way to see, like, oh, they put, you know, 98% above, above Grandpa Muto. That's how many cards I've unlocked in this dude's, from this dude's booster pack. So, like, once you get to 100%, you know, all right, staying here for much longer, no point, unless I'm looking for, uh, separate stuff. Again, except for the fact that you come here, and now look at this, right? Now, you have this show details. This doesn't tell you where you got the card from. So, like... Even if you're looking for a specific card, there is no possible way except from just knowing. You just have to know that that card is part of that pack. There is no other way to figure out that... Actually, let me see. Is it in card genre? Nope. So, yeah, there is absolutely... Eh, you know... Well, no, it still doesn't tell you, like, which uh, packs hold which cards. But I'm sure that might actually help knowing, like, it's a destroy monster. So then look up... Uh, Maybe not. I don't even know. You know, destroy is probably just related to its effect. So never mind. Ignore that. Point being, the in-game resources to actually figure out where to find cards are atrocious. And that's a terrible thing in a game with, like, thousands of cards. So that's why I had not built my own deck at that point in time. Because it's really difficult to actually do that. And I had to go through a lot of different alternatives and figuring shit out to finally find like oh this is by far the best way to do this and now i do actually have my own deck which granted definitely not done i'd say it's like 60 percent solid i haven't really gone through the spells or the trap cards specifically like one by one because i know i don't have a lot of the effective spells and trap cards so i haven't really looked into those uh changing those out and stuff but i do i just want to show it off we're gonna go into the campaign we're gonna come here and do my final battle that's the last one I got to do is the switch battle. So anyway, let me see. Uh, what else I just want to say. There's really nothing else here that you said that's like good to talk about, good for a discussion or anything. I greatly appreciate your advice, your tips. I read it. I saw it. Thank you very much. I took it into consideration. But like I said, the rest of it really wasn't like, it's not something that you could have a discussion about, you know? I probably should have gone. I think this deck might actually be better to go first with. I think, I think, I just, I think this deck might be better to go first with. Aw, oh, shit. I didn't start out with good stuff. Not really. I would like to see a, like, seeing a pyramid turtle from the, oh. <laughs> okay. I guess I could have put down Call of the Haunted just to have it ready in case I want it. Oh shit, he's XYZ summoning from the get-go. Or not XYZ, but... Yeah, fusing... Oh yeah, it's just regular fusion. Elemental Hero Flare Neos, this might be a problem from the get-go. What is that? Oh, he just used a fucking card effect to get rid of my card. She. That's not good. That's not a good start. That is not in any way, shape, or form a good start. <laughs> oh, dear God. This is a problem.
Dude! There's actually nothing I can do about that. Ha! <laughs> um, well, alright, let's just go ahead and... That went about as terribly as it could possibly go. That would not have actually happened if uh, I had gone first. But that's the kind of thing, like, that's just... That's just I, I have a sneaking suspicion that the AI tends to kind of, uh, like, sometimes it just throws it all on you, and sometimes it doesn't. So I think a lot of the time it really is. See, that's one of the cards that I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really think I need that. You motherfucker. You tricksy bitch. Oh god. He's doing so many things. I probably should have done the vampire sorcerer, because I can do effects with him if this doesn't end up working out. Or maybe his hand just fucking sucks. <laughs> if that's all that's gonna happen. I'm gonna assume his hand just sucks terribly bad at this point. Oh, okay, here's something that I wanted to figure out, but I'm gonna go a little bit nuts here instead. Oh shit, real? What can I get right now? Oh, no, I don't wanna do that. Yeah, I don't wanna actually, I don't, I should, actually, I think that's one of the cards I need to get rid of too, is that XYZ summon, I really don't feel that one terribly hard. Let me actually just flip this dude, like why not? This is another thing that I'm not really sure if this is kind of gimmicky or if it's actually like a solid choice. Oh. Why am I why am I being shown his entire deck? Oh, I guess to make sure just to be sure there's no actual trap cards. This dude has zero trap cards, really? Goes to show how much I paid attention to their decks. Zero trap cards. Uh, uh. Stalling me. Stalling me. I can actually make use of this. So what's my strongest monster right now? I'm actually gonna use I really want this is something again this is something I don't really know like if it's gimmicky or if it's actually worthwhile this whole thing about being able to equip um, any monster to it and then it gains that attack and defense I mean obviously I don't want to do it with any of their active monsters but still only that one all right let me let me check out because I have not audited the audited I have not looked through two level five monsters and two level five zombie monsters. Okay. Because yeah, I really don't think I care much for this one, but I think I do need to replace it with you know multiple things that can have uh, effects that can occur through multiple. Actually, you know what? Did I even summon one? I did not summon one to my side. It doesn't matter because once it triggers that bad boy, I'm not gonna be able to do any more damage anyway. You target one face-up monster to carve on the card, okay. You can target one face-up monster on the field. Monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn, except zombie-type monsters. Also send one zombie-type... Uh, uh, okay, so I'm not actually... Oh, I have to use that. It won't let me... It won't let me back out now, I don't, I don't, unless I... Yeah, it won't let me back out, so I gotta choose. Fuck it. So this increases its level, so I think I want to... I would want to be getting dudes to level 5 so I can summon that other guy. 
This one has to be sent there by battle to activate its effect, so I will go with the Vampire Sorcerer and the Vampire Lady. And I think I want to throw... Where are you? Do I not have you? Oh, here it is. Do I only have one? No, there's two. I only have two of these, though. I think I want three of these Mizukis. The effect, as you can see, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one zombie-type monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So basically, I ban... And then there, I think there's other card effects that... Uh, unbanished cards, so I can kind of do that on a repeated basis. But since I don't have any zombie cards in my graveyard right now, I cannot actually activate that effect. But yeah, so I think I don't know whether or not the deck I have built uh, is it, basically. I'm only kind of really worried about the monsters right now, and it obviously does not help that uh, this entire this whole thing has happened. Actually, you know what? Can I? No, it has to be the one the opponent controls can't be one of mine. That'd be kind of cool if I could target one of my own. But anyway, so let me try and actually use this. So then I can target the vampire lady. So now they're both level 5. Oh, you know what? And then I'd be able to do this too. Hang on a second. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So now we can summon both of these. You can detach one XYZ material from this card, then target one card in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon. Okay, yeah, I don't really care about that one. This one is really annoying to me. I have been on the wrong end of it numerous times through battling her challenge deck. Uh, basically, you just discard one XYZ, which obviously he gets two XYZ uh, summons, whatever, cards. And you just destroy one face-up card they have just like that you just get rid of it so <laughs> it's really frustrating but anyway so we throw this dude over there and now I get to summon this guy over on my side and the thing that I really like about this this is the reason why this dude is in my deck when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you can pay 500 life points and during the standby phase a uh, summon special summon it during the standby phase of our next turn and then it gets 500 attack now I actually want to wait. What? Why is it telling me I can do this? I just did this. Right? I just activated its effect. Each. So I can do both. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, well anyway, let me just go ahead and kill this guy now. I think it's been long enough. Well, so this is the deck that I'm using. Oh, I can't attack. Why can't it attack? Is that an XYZ thing? Maybe XYZ monsters can't attack the turn they're summoned? No, that's not true. I know I've been attacked by XYZ monsters the turn they've been summoned. Maybe not. I don't know. Fuck it. Fuck it. Whatever. I curb stopped them, and that's what matters. Hi, Ty. Somebody tell me how the fuck to get rid of that alert, because I really don't care. <laughs> and I don't care about any of these rewards either. But so there you go. There's the deck that I'm using right now. I just wanted to show that off. You know, let's show off one more fight. Let me go through. I've been going through these fights right now. And it might actually be a bit more challenging to do this one. Uh, because it's kind of, you know, that's the one thing that I definitely noticed once I started using the other decks. Like the Synchro deck and the uh, um, Pendulum deck. Is that when you're utilizing them against like the story mode stuff that comes before those cards were actually released. Those decks that you're fighting are a severe disadvantage because they're not using those tools and you are. So it's kind of not really indicative of how strong something you're doing is. Uh-oh, this is new. I haven't dealt with this before. What do you do? Beast-type monsters control... 100 for each monster in your graveyard. Interesting. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, this is not going to be a good start for this guy. Because I'm already going to get on the disc... Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I was going to say I'm already going to be uh, discarding this dude's cards, but that is the Vampire Lady's effect, not the Vampire Sorcerer. It might become a problem, though, if he... Uh... Well, fuck you. Ha! So let me actually check real quick. Like, is there... That's the, well, that's the effect I was looking for, is that last one. You can banish it, and then you get... 
dirty stuff. So I might actually want to use the... You know what? That's something I think I'd want to save for later. So let me go ahead and grab a vampire lady real quick. I think that... It, wow, I grabbed... I grabbed the proper one. Ooh, we got a Yuna zombie. We got the Yuna zombie. Fuck trap cards. Ha! <laughs> Good. Call the haunted. Suck my dick. And we're done. That did not sound good. I don't know if the microphone picked up the... I believe it was a motor... Fuck you! The motorcycle that came by outside, but it did not... Did not sound healthy in any way, shape, or form. Oh, there we go. Oh, I already have a Call of the Haunted, so actually I'm going to use this. Silly you. Absolutely ridiculous use of this card. I think that's something I should probably just not do. Like, using a Call of the Haunted on a 1550 monster. There's no way that's actually useful. I'm gonna attack with it's a terrible idea, but okay, let's see, we just We just got it. I mean that's kind of the thing that again, that's probably another bad habit, because like who is actually going to use uh monsters that weak? Like let me just check this dude's effects real quick. I'm holding down the button. Oh, that's actually not... That might not be awful. It's awful. There's so many better cards than that that have the same... Like, for instance, the Pyramid Turtle. Speaking of! Not that the Pyramid Turtle's actually gonna fucking matter, because, uh... I'm just gonna stomp this dude this round by using this Activate This Guy's Effect. And now I'm going to be able to summon the Shadow Vampire. Oh shit. And not worth it. That's something that's really, again, the auxiliary effects, man, they matter. But that's something that's not going to be relevant for this fight because I'm about to kill him. I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to be 50 points away. Really? I'm going to be 50 points short of killing this dude? Shit. Oh, that's smart. Discard the other field card. <laughs> Damn, I should have used this effect. If I had done the math, I would have recognized that, but I was like, eh, of course I have enough. Do I have enough to XYZ? Not quite. Actually, I could. Hang on a second. Let me XYZ summon real quick. Oh, you know what it probably was now that I'm actually looking at that? Let me send... Actually, yeah, I'll send another Mizuki. But let me go check this shit out. This dude's probably not... No, he's a... Oh, wait, no, this guy. Yeah, he's a fiend. That's why he couldn't attack. Is because I activated that dude's thing and he is a fiend and not a... Uh... Not a zombie. That makes perfect sense. Why am I doing this? Can I, can I stop that? Okay, good, I can. <laughs> There's no good reason for me to be doing that. Um... Have I summoned? I have not. So let's go ahead and throw that out there. Actually, I guess I could have, really, if I wanted to be, like, 100% safe. Just to be, like, oh, uh, yeah, like, just to be completely positive that, like, nothing bad would happen. I could have just dark hold and then summoned my own dude. But so now you've seen a little bit of the deck and its intentions. Uh, again, I don't think the traps, or I, not all, I don't think all of the traps and spells are perfect. And I believe I definitely need to do some work in regard to fixing those up. And obviously... That means finding other uh, better traps, and because I don't think I have anything like, for instance, Mirror Force would be something that I probably like, everybody has a Mirror Force, right? But I don't know. Oh, L2 is a unit scroll. M. Oh, I have two Mirror Forces. Oh, I didn't know that. But let me actually go check. Let me just see what I have over here. It's so, like this one. That's actually useful for me. That is actually a useful card for me, and I might want to get more of those. Um, That one is also a useful card for me. That is a useful card. 
Maybe not having three Call of the Haunteds, that's probably a bit much. I'm not sure if I would really want that one. This actually doesn't look too terribly bad. Like, maybe less of these. And less of these. Like, two of each of those instead. I thought I had three. Yeah, whatever. I actually have nothing. They're all four stars except for this guy, aren't they? Even the Pyramid Turtle is a four. I'm not sure how much exactly, like, one through four star monsters matter. Unless you have XYZ summon stuff. That's actually something I should look through, too. Like, sort by... Do I have, like... Uh... It's like, is that all... Are these all the XYZ cards I have? I guess so, because these are all the synchros. Like, all the fusions, all the synchros, all the XYZs. And then these are... Normal? Okay, never mind. This is not what I'm looking for. These are... Maybe they are? Fuck it, dude. I have no idea. I have no idea how... A tribute? I don't know. Oh! Earth and wind and that kind of stuff. So, like, there's no way... There we go. Frame. Aha! There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So I want to just look through these, see what I had, see if I have any more zombies, but it doesn't look like I do. Because when I'm using the Yuna zombie, that's definitely something that I would want to have zombie XYZ monsters. Now granted, I do have the one, but like I said, I don't really care for this one. Like, Because this one, it was basically put in there to facilitate the whole like removing cards from your the top of your deck, because this deck does get a bit of an advantage from having certain cards in the graveyard but due to the randomness of it I would like I wouldn't want to end up using that and then I discard like a pyramid turtle or a unizombie instead of getting rid of like this which is useful there the vampire uh, lord you know, the vampire sorcerer that's useful there that kind of thing so like I, I feel like that effect is a little bit too random to want to have there so again like I'm not sure this is something that I would definitely have to like play against people that know what they're doing and see how they counter it see how they do against it see what you know seems to work versus what seems to just fail utterly that kind of thing and then go from there because that's de there's definitely it's a good thing i have zero intention of continuing the like the knowledge of how much money it would take to like create a Yu-Gi-Oh deck and like actually do stuff with it in an offline in an actual real life setting is like no not as like because this whole deck building thing it intrigues me the amount of diversity it seems you have at your fingertips to be able to build so much shit again intrigues me i really love conceptualizing this whole thing but then you know like it works perfectly here but then you walk into real life and it's like man if i wanted to build a deck it'd be like a hundred something dollars to get all the cards necessary maybe even more uh, buying booster packs would be even worse and so it's like never, never let's not let's not do that let's just go ahead and stick with this whole thing right here but yeah I mean there's definitely the for me the appeal of this is not really necessarily actually battling other people like not to say that's not fun or anything it's obviously anything competitive uh, can generally be fun but for me the appeal of this is definitely just conceptualizing decks and seeing them you know come to fruition how they work out and how you can make them better that whole thing it's a mental exercise man you're putting together a puzzle i love that shit um so anyway hope you enjoyed that little bit of the showcasing of the deck that i hopefully can possibly be using you know what i should actually try to do is try to use it against the i am getting my booty kicked by this guy this guy right here you see the x right there that means i lost because he has a deck called Six Samurai, and uh, the effects of all those cards basically allows him to grab, like, a Synchro monster or an XYZ monster first turn. <laughs> Just like, oh, well, that's fun, but uh, Unizombie might actually be a good, a solid answer to that, because it prevents anything that isn't a zombie from attacking, and then, like, he can't... So, sure, you have your massively powerful Synchro monster turn one, let me counter that, because you're not a zombie, you can't fucking do anything now. So I might be able to fight it with this. But either way, this video's gone on long enough. Peace out.